Hello and welcome to another Grammar Bytes. In this video, we're looking at the second conditional. This man here, he looks a little sad. His car has broken down, again. What is he thinking? If I had more money, I would buy a new car. Let's look at this sentence more closely. Does he have more money? No. Can he buy a new car? No. Is he talking about the past or the present? He's talking about the present. Is it the present that is real or imaginary? It is an imaginary or hypothetical sentence. He is thinking how the present would be different if he had more money. As we just saw, we use the second conditional to talk about imaginary things or situations in the present or future that are unlikely, although not necessarily completely impossible. Let's have a look at the structure of our example sentence. If I had more money, I would buy a new car. We know he doesn't have more money now, and he can't buy a new car now. How do we make this sentence? Well, we use past tense in the IF clause. And we use WOULD plus the infinitive, or verb 1, in the MAIN clause. Remember, don't use WOULD in the IF clause. Here's another example. If she didn't work so hard, she wouldn't be stressed. She does work hard and she is stressed. Here again, we have past tense in the IF clause and would and the infinitive in the main clause. Here's another example. If I lived near the beach, I'd swim every day. Again, this is imaginary. She doesn't live near the beach now, so she doesn't swim every day. In informal situations, especially in spoken English, would normally changes to the short form apostrophe D as in I'd or she'd. And another imaginary situation. If these jackets weren't so expensive, she'd buy one. They are expensive, she will not buy one. We can also use other modal verbs such as could and might instead of would. In this sentence, it means, if the jackets were cheaper, she would definitely buy one. But in this sentence, if the jackets weren't so expensive, she could buy one, the meaning is different. For cheaper jackets, she has enough money. Buying the jacket would be possible. Not certain. If you hired more workers, the project would finish earlier. This means that it would definitely finish earlier with more workers. But, if you hired more workers, the project might finish earlier, means that more workers doesn't guarantee an earlier finish. Maybe it will finish earlier, maybe it won't. In the IF clause, we can also use the past continuous tense to focus on an action in progress. If she wasn't working so hard these days, she'd see her friends more. If she was working at home, she might be more relaxed might be. Maybe she would be more relaxed, maybe not. Remember, in second conditional sentences, the past simple and past continuous are not talking about the past. If she was working at home, now. After subjects I, he, she and it, we can use was or were. It is often believed that were is more correct, but it usually depends on the speaker. If she were not so clever, she wouldn't earn so much money. This means the same as, if she wasn't so clever, she wouldn't earn so much money. If I were you, I'd is a very good way to give advice. What advice can we give him? If I were you, I'd take some time off. If I were you, I'd breathe deeply and relax. Like other conditionals, 
With second conditional sentences, the if clause can come first or second with no changing meaning. But notice the comma. If I found a wallet, I'd try to find the owner. I'd try to find the owner if I found a wallet. The two sentences have the same meaning, but in the first sentence, we need a comma. But in the second sentence, we don't. Here's another example. If he didn't train every day, he wouldn't be successful. This has the same meaning as he wouldn't be successful if he didn't train every day. Again, notice the commas. We use a comma in the first sentence because the if clause is first. We can make many questions with the second conditional to ask about imaginary or hypothetical situations. A common question is what would you do if we still use the past tense and would plus the infinitive. Here are some examples. What would you do if you saw an alien? What would you do if you won the lottery? What would you do if an old person got on the bus and couldn't find a seat? Here's a group of friends with a discussion about an imaginary situation. What would you do if your boyfriend asked you to marry him? I don't know, I think I'd faint. Would you say yes if he proposed? If he asked me today, I would definitely say no. How would he feel if you said no? I guess he would feel sad, but he made me so angry this week. And what her boyfriend did is the story for another Grammar Bytes video. Now it's over to you. There's a link below the video for extra practice. Have a great day.